Hi, my name is Caroline, and in this video, I'll show you how to back up your photos to Plex both automatically and manually. Now, first of all, you might be wondering, what is Plex? Plex Media Server is a way for you to enjoy your content, your music, your videos, and your photos on a server that you set up yourself. And as of recent, Plex has added a free streaming service in over 200 countries for ad-supported movies and TV. But I'll talk about that more at the end of this video. Now let's get started. In this video, I'll cover how to back up your photos to your Plex media server. And before I forget, thank you Plex for sponsoring this video. This video assumes you already have your Plex media server set up on your Windows, Mac, or a NAS device. If you haven't already set up your Plex media server, I'll link to videos below where I set up a Plex media server on my cloud home, which brings me to exactly why I was interested in backing up my photos. In my video where I set up my Plex media server on this my cloud home, I mentioned that my cloud home is actually two hard drives in one exclosure. That means any content you have saved on my cloud home is copied to a second hard drive within this box. And in the unfortunate scenario where one hard drive dies, you'll have everything on a second hard drive and the transition should be seamless. That really made me start thinking about saving content that I cared about. If you're like me, I take most of my photos on my smartphone and I'd probably be pretty devastated if I lost my photos. These are my memories. As a Plex Pass member, which is a premium paid subscription service, I can automatically back up my photos from my phone to my Plex media server, which means I'm actually backing up to this My Cloud Home device, which actually has two hard drives. Let me show you exactly how to do this from my Plex app on my phone. And I'm gonna go into Plex right here, and I'm on the home screen, I'm gonna hit the menu button in the top left-hand corner, and from there, there is a settings, the gear icon in the top right corner. Touch that, and then you'll see a menu for camera upload. I'll hit camera upload, and it's gonna kinda walk me through like a little wizard or something to set up my camera automatic uploads. So I'm gonna hit choose a server, and this, I think you'll only see this if you only have one server like most people do. I'm gonna hit my cloud home, that's the server I use, that's the one I just showed you and then I'll hit next. Then I can uh, choose a library or create a library. And let's see, I only have one library, it's photos. So I will select photos. And then album, let's hit album. And these are all the folders I've created within the My Shared Photos in my cloud home. And I'm gonna scroll down and I have already have a folder called iPhone Upload. If you'd like to create a new album, you'd hit the plus button, it defaults to Caroline's iPhone, or I guess your name and iPhone or whatever device you have. I would hit next, and then I would choose to upload automatically, so I'll toggle that on, and you can include media stored in the cloud or not, so toggle that off or on, I'll hit next, and then I can use cellular data or not, depending on how much data you have, most people will choose no, which is the default. If you want to enable cellular data, you would toggle it on. I'm gonna to toggle it back to off. I'm gonna hit finish. And then to get it to work, I would toggle the camera upload to on, light it up, and then now it's gonna automatically go through, upload all the photos I already have on my phone, and then as I have new photos, it should automatically upload those photos into my cloud home onto my Plex server. And there it goes. So it's, it's uploading my photos right now. I've got a lot of photos on this phone, so that's gonna take quite a while to complete. So I'll let that complete, and I go back to settings, and I can see my photos. And here are some of the photos that I have recently uploaded. Okay, that worked great, perfect. Next, I'll show you how to manually put photos from your desktop computer onto your My Cloud Home. Now, if you have a bunch of photos on your hard drive that you love and you wanna back up from My Cloud Home, which is the server, or however you have your Plex Media server set up, you'll just go into the Photos folder 
and hopefully you've already set that up and then you can um, upload photos directly. So I'm gonna go into, let's say it's 2020 right now and maybe I've got some photos I wanted to add. I'll hit add files and let's go to, I, I just I found this picture I really like. It's a mug picture, I thought this would be perfect. And I'm gonna hit open and now I am uploading a picture of a mug to my shared photos right here on my Plex server under shared photos. Then I'll go to Plex, I'll hit launch. Let's see if it comes up. And then from my uh, Plex, my cloud home, I'll hit photos. So I went to photos, timeline, uh, and I am going to take a look at the last photo I just uploaded. And here it is, here is the photo I just uploaded of a mug. And you can see it right here on my Plex media server. Isn't that cool? Now that we've covered how to back up your photos to Plex Media Server, I'd like to go back to something I said at the beginning of this video about Plex Streaming. When I first started using Plex a while back ago, I set up Plex Media Server to watch my own videos, my own pictures, my own music. Now Plex has started offering an ad-supported movies and TV shows that doesn't require any hard drive space. I can watch on my smartphone, my tablet, my Roku, Chromecast, or smart TV. And yes, this is available internationally in over 200 countries. I highly suggest that you check it out and I'll link to an article about it below. Before I say goodbye, I'd love to hear from you on what you would like to see on my channel with Plex. Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Thank you Plex for sponsoring this video. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye now.